Guys, my best friend's just arrived in a box and he's so cool and I love him so much already and I haven't even really had time to get to know him properly. But he's come a long way, but he's finally here and I asked for him so long before Christmas. It's so exciting and I just can't wait to introduce him to you. It's the baby Yoda, the child. He's so young, he doesn't even know that anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. He's so, he hasn't even got his voice yet because his balls haven't dropped, so he hasn't even got voice notes. And he tries to do things like this. He tries to do it in the manual and he goes, and he fails and things fall and he and he's just he doesn't even know it yet but he's not even a jedi yet because he's just like a baby but he's a baby he's 50 years old and he's 50 which he's the same age as me he's the same age as me guys maddie he's 50 like i'm gonna be same age as me my best friend in the world come in here it's just called the child. That's what they should call me, the child. There we go. I'm gonna find a really nice spot over here. <laughs> so excited, it's so cool and I'm so pleased and I haven't got him yet. He's like a friend, he's like my proper friend and he's just gonna hang out in here with me. Oh, look. Here he is. Little Yoda, the child. What? What? Hang on. What the fuck? Did you hear that clash? Look. Oh my god. That's my fault because of the cupboard. And that's my favourite vintage huge dinner plate. Babe, that that's one. your bloody cupboard and again. And my cousin made me that one. Your cousin? The one I don't like isn't broken. When did that fall? Coffee, stay away. It was unbelievable. How did you not hear that? Well, hang on a minute. I'm, ama the I'm amazed more hasn't fallen. Why is, what is this? Some kind of game? Jenga. Oh God. Does it dish Can you Jenga? get me that top one? Because I really don't want that top one to break. Because you've got shoes babe. on. I, I, I'm fixing the little desk. I need to fix the cover because everything's going to fall out on me. Really? Kiki. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that's that gorgeous place, plate that um, Miranda sourced for us. It was in our book. It was in my cookery book. I know. I thought I heard something earlier. Why do the two precious? Why are the two precious things broken? Because you and the awful one. Hang on, are you seriously having a go at the plates? I think you have to have a go at that. What is that? Oh, fucking hell. Careful, oh. don't break my ET record. <laughs> this is a lesson in a. A lesson in what? Just how annoying plates are. Sorting your shit out. Oh, Kiki. Did you hear the sound? Not really oh my god, it was unbelievable. I was upstairs on the phone and I heard a crash and I thought it was something to do with you, Mark. I thought it was something I to do with you. Because you weren't out there in the garden. Right. Yeah, That's proper mashup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this morning there was a knock knock on the door. I said you've ordered something. I didn't order anything. I didn't order anything. <gasps> But look at this. Expertly it's sourced, a gift. proudly delivered. Ooh. It's a gift. <gasps> look at that tomato, mozzarella and tomato salad. Oh my God, Mark, look. Look at that heirloom tomato. Look at these tomatoes. Oh, they're, they're, they're my the favourite. Plum. Plum tomatoes, Plum tomatoes ever. are my favourite. Peaches. Oh my God, peaches. Like, look at those strawberries. Apparently, not. everything is sourced <gasps> from the best place. Sausages. Look at that Cumberland sausage. Oh, no, it's oh. not Cumberland, it's oh, sausages. It? Um, Asparagus. Beautiful asparagus. Milk. Look at this. One of my favourite things. Wild garlic leaves. Ooh. Oh, gorgeous. Look at um, this beautiful lettuce. 
everything is just stunning. Now look at these tomatoes. Just look at these tomatoes. Look at this tomato? lettuce. Look pepper? at the quality of this stuff. Oh, look at that. That's phenomenal. I mean, I just like, feel so Oh, this is lovely. the kind of kitchen garden I wanted to create for you, this sort of stuff. Yeah, this is what we're... Oh, look at that leek. <gasps> oh, I need a leek. Excuse me. Eggs. Eggs. Beautiful butter. Look, French butter. Um, look at that. Oh. Proper mozzarella. Oh, my God. So there is mozzarella and tomato. Your favourite. Oh, oh God, bread. Tonight. Oh, yes, please. And look at this. What's that? Gorgeous, Ver de Ver de Ver uh, gorgeous French green lentils. What is it? French green lentils. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gorgeous, get in there. proper little French um, What's that? melon. Oh my God, look at this lemon. It's been picked up a tree. That's a some sort of a squash. That looks like but a look grenade. Oh, that lemon. And look at that beautiful oh. bread. Oh. And look at those. Oh. Oh. That looks like the most gorgeous apple ever. Oh, can get the... Oh. Mm. It's like an old fashioned apple. So all this stuff, they source it from the best place. It's like a gourmet box. Ooh. Very posh for us. Shallot. Is that your shallot? Best shallot. Mm. Very nice. Avocados. Oh, look at that courgette. I want to stuff it. Oh, I immediately want to stuff it. Mm. What's in that bag under there? Mm. What's this? Oh. What are these? Courgettes. Mmm, lovely courgettes. Oh. Oh. Oh, isn't that a beautiful thing? Thank you, Knock Knock. Wow. Knock Knock by Smith and Brock. Wow. Very, very special. Very, wow. very spoiled. Mmm, could make so many lovely things. Oh. Mm. So bite. That's the nicest apple we'll have had this year. Mmm. Gorgeous. Mm. Mm. Morning. Somebody in this house has asked for a breakfast that I love and I've never had a friend. So what? I've gone a bit over. <laughs> Somebody in this house, and I can't say who in case they sound like something. What was it? It's having avocado on toast. Nobody's ever had this and a salad. Look, and, and I've made a little salad dressing especially with a little bowl and I've added spring onions because this person likes spring onions and these are really, really special spring onions. What, salad so. what I want you to do a salad too. No, I know, but I've, I've gone and had an avocado on toast, but they can't push it with the salad. Mads. Stop playing all dirt and bits. And your strange leopard really skin. I know you are, but... I've done mixed coloured carrots. Your idea of excitement's... <laughs> I've done mixed coloured carrots and I've done spring onions and I've done your own individual made oh, to yeah. your liking she dressing. She can have it. Wouldn't that excite you? No, more? but I'm having one too. I was going to have one with you. I was going to be not the only person oh, having oh, the I'll salad. I'll have avocado and toast and you can have the salad. She wants that bit, not that bit. Look at you encouraging it. Oh, I'm just Why don't you say right, that looks like a lovely it. salad? I don't eat salad. I'd be lying. And my children would know I was a fraud. Look, but I've done all her favourite things in it. I've put like... No, not really. <laughs> oh, now I'm feeling sorry. I'll eat it. No, don't. Because now all the subs are going to think I'm evil. I just of course don't... they're not going to think you're evil. Yeah, they they're just going to already... think you're a little shit. They already think I'm Don't you subs? I don't think you're evil. Yeah, Nobody they... thinks you're evil, yeah, you idiot. I don't. I love you. Huh? I'm sorry. I was... Like, oh, how fast is that? That's filling as well. I'm putting it on a platter. Oh, she was really nice. I'm not just saying it. She was so excited. Oh, so oh. excited. She's literally in a good mood. She's literally in a good mood. Because you're going to eat salad. Well, will you just pour some? Will you just that shake looks, the dressing? That's great. And pour some. Excuse <laughs> me. Will you just shake Okay, so we're just getting ready to do a Lionsgate <laughs> Hunger Games style Instagram film. I'm not entirely sure this is going to be as convincing as the Eddie the Eagle, but you're in character. Oh yeah. No, no. Uh, what do you think? Weapons? Well, no, because that's what they're fighting. Hey. That's what they're fighting. Yeah, but they need to get them. You can't already have them. Oh. Well, let's have them as no, a pop. But we're getting the feed that's right. Hey. We're getting what we're fighting over is the feed, isn't it? Yeah, but we can't. I thought they're fighting to get weapons. 
No, in the film they are. But, but she says we're fighting for Oh, popcorn. I see. But we're not we're now. Not we're not doing the popcorn. We're not? No. no. What are we fighting over? Yeah. I know, we do just need something. I do think we need something we to fight over. over. Let's fight over the utensils. It's funny. No, the whole point is that they're fighting over something. Yeah. Do yeah, otherwise we're not... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, we're fighting over the utensils because they're our weapons. Why don't we just put loads of this right, into another bowl? Huh? It's another mamma mia. No, those are the weapons. So let's have the weapons and let's have food. I like the food idea. You like the further food idea? The popcorn junkies. Yeah, popcorn junkies. Well, let's just take them out of the packets. Do we have a big... Uh, what I do think we're like a... doing is we're opening these down in there. Like a line and then running over this line. I don't know if we're doing it in... In the garden. We're doing it in the garden. Yeah, we're doing it on the grass down there. But what do we what can we put the popcorn in? A bowl. Three, four different bowls. Or maybe just one bowl. One big bowl. And we're fighting over them. Yeah, and they're going to go everywhere. Can I make a big bowl then? Yeah, make more as well. Stuff. Well, no, let's put it all in. Make as much as you can. Yeah. yeah but then we'll add another one for the rest of the lap. Yeah. Can you can get the Use the popcorn that you've got here. So the popcorn junkies are going to be fighting for popcorn. And then we just leave them in this pot in the middle of the grass and we're all looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you want it in a big glass one so people can see it? Well, we've got a big glass one, haven't we? Uh, we think we could have a big glass. What about in that big thing there? You can see what it is. I think that's good. I think this is if good. If it goes like... Yeah, if it goes above, will it go above? Might be. We could put, no, we can bulk it up, put the bags underneath yeah. and put them on top. Yeah. We'll all take it really seriously. Don't get too competitive. I think we're actually in it. Oh my god, what if we end up killing each other like in the Hunger Games? I'm hungry, it's the Hungry Games. The Hungry Games. I hate it. It was this. Actually, it's a really good film. Yeah. But it just makes me really sad. Makes you sad? Yeah. It's not real, babe, it's a film. And I watched that last one, which was just awful for you because you were just too young and there was all those awful bodies. Oh, oh no, it was the, as well as the aliens. No, oh, yeah, it's so cool. Where they got stung with the bees, do you remember that? And they got all the lumps on the skin. Very cool. So dark and twisted. I know that we all get method actors and we all like a bit of competition, but these are the rules. We have a global pandemic and there isn't a hospital bed in the hospitals. Do not run so fast towards each other that you crack open your skulls. You and Dad will be the ones that do that. Knock out teeth. Happen. No teeth coming out. We've got one family member now that's toothless. We don't need another one. You should be telling your dad to. Yeah, we're so the ones who are going to get, get injured. So, you two yeah. okay. so anyway, we've just realised... <laughs> what was that? That's going batshit crazy, this popcorn. We just realised, Subs, crazy. that they don't have backpacks on. They have backpacks to collect. I don't think they have one. No, what about... They have the backpack and we run and we have to stuff our bags with popcorn. No, 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 yeah. thing that gives us something. So your bag should be with the popcorn because you need yes. to get your bag to put the stuff yeah. in. Yeah, and to they, put your popcorn in. They aren't in. any resources. Yeah, that's it. It's true. It's that's true. That's why they fight to the death. And that's what we're well, doing. we're just going to get popcorn. Then. Yes. yes. And so we're all actually, if you give us actually a reason to compete, we will compete to get as much popcorn. But one of us has to die. I'll die because yeah. I can't eat any popcorn. I'll die. I'll die. When yeah. do they die? Before they get the popcorn. So who's going to be the Je Jennifer no, Lawrence? Who wants to be the Jennifer Lawrence? We just run towards the popcorn and we just try and fight and stuff it. But who wants to be the Jennifer Lawrence esque character? Do you want to be Jennifer Lawrence? You're the one who that we get cutaways of you looking absolutely you aghast at what's going hair, on. You have to have your hair tied back. Open it, I'll, need, I'll open it up. Go nuts. Don't put the bag in there, we need the bag out there. Why don't you put the bag in there? Why don't you put the bag in there? Why don't you put the bag in there? It's going to be another Mamma Mia. It's going to be another Mamma Mia. It's going to be a lot. Oh my god, that's so cool. We are the popcorn junkies. We are the popcorn junkies. Come on, baby, like my fire. Come on, baby, like my fire. Come on, popcorn. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, we need to get popcorn. Come on, baby, like my fire. Come on, popcorn. It's Thunder Games, it's great. Everything in the Hunger Games. Hunger Games? What is wrong with them? What am I saying? Mom.
Jimmy. <laughs> Don't film me. <laughs> Who the <laughs> fuck wouldn't? You're offering me gold. Mark! Mark! I see things. <laughs> no, what no, things? No, no, no. Just paying into my stuff. Go on. Mum, listen to you. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> on what, by what no, standard? It's good for you. It's going in deep into your soul. Do it again. No. <laughs> Something that just comes. Sounds like a cow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening there? Her <laughs> <laughs> face is so funny. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Mom, what's happened to you? I'm pleased you did your work out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Fuck! <laughs> Go away! What's that voice? What you do? <laughs> What's you? What's that voice? Mark. What's that voice? No, did you? What's that voice? She's like the little kid from Two are not <laughs> night. Two can go away, and 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 two can go away. Two can go away. Ma! Don't come near me and fart in my face. Get away. Go away. Mm. I think it's my yeah, It was such a little. It was like it did a little backflip. He forced that out on purpose. <laughs> Mark, Mark. Mark, Mark. Mark. Looking out on that woman in goggle box. <laughs> I'm literally her. Okay. I was looking at Paisley chairs the other day. Oh like, my god, you're nice. joking. And a kilt. And a kilt. What? A kilt? For you or me? No. I think I'm turning into Hattie. <laughs>
We did. It was quite funny. We were coming up with all these what we thought were really good ideas. One of which was to do like a calendar girls, not actually have your clothes off, but do a calendar girls type thing, you know, hidden by a tree, hidden by a bush. I could have used one of the poppy heads to cover my testicles. Yes. But they said, no, something more traditional. Yeah, so we're going to do me sat in front of a lupin. Except the lupins are super human. The lupins look like penises. So. I think they might be a bit phallic to put in the a photo. Look more like than my yeah, they do actually. <laughs> they're very penisy and they're very alien. They look alien. They look like they've landed. I didn't realise, I was reading the other day, that lupin seeds are a new wonder food. Like an incredible wonder food. Biona organic sell them. I'm thinking of the vegans that we know, Lior and such. And um, they're, they're packed with protein. Good for the planet. Who would have known? Well, More protein than the soybeans. No, they're, they're, they're like a wonder food. Oh, this is so funny. So the other day on Loose Women, because we don't get our own... We have to take our own food and coffee and everything. Um, I was, I'd, I'd taken my coffee into work and I'd taken this mug because I didn't mind if it got broken or got lost, right? But then we were called into the studio a bit earlier and I was sat there at the desk and then everyone started snickering and snickering. I was like, what? And they went, what is that mug? <laughs> and they thought I seriously had a mug. I went, oh God, it's ironic. It's supposed to be funny. And somebody gave it to me. Uh, I don't care whether it's broken. And they were like, yeah, right. Oh, no, it was Lanny Thelma's. Oh, was it Nanny Thelma's? Yeah, yeah, I took it from Nan's because it rocked. What's that? Oh, sorry, my arm's really hurting. I took it from Nan's because it was sweet that she had it. Oh, it was Nan's. Oh, God, I'd forgotten that part of the story. Oh, I bought it because I Any... love the look of your tits. Anyway, they made me put it on the show. I must look like such an idiot. Damn, anyway, you'll have to hold that now. My arm's hurting. Did you feel like a mug? <laughs> <laughs> look, every morning I drink from the mug. The furry mug. Oh, I caught the sun yesterday gardening. Yeah, you really have. Yeah, look, look, nice. Yellow. I look yellow. Well, I actually look like my liver's about to fail, which is odd. Oh, all right, I ache though. God, you know when you... I did 15,000 steps in the garden yesterday. 15,000. You probably that. saw just at the end of yesterday, Nadia went a bit strange. Filmed a little bit of that. Did you? That's why you were nauseous. You didn't really know what was going on. It was like so you'd had a party in your head. But really, she was having just... a party in her knickers. Uh, Mark, don't put that in. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if there's any way I could do any of my meetings in the garden today. I'm wondering if there's any way after we've done these photos I can go back to bed. And I felt like I didn't stop this today. <laughs> I just want to stop for a day. Well, today is not the day for that. Okay. We've got loads on today. It's going to be really hard. It's harder than you think finding a spot in the garden where you can sit at the right level. I part of me wonders whether you just should just sit on the deck chair with the dogs near you, with it all just behind you. That's why. That's why like, I put like, the deck like, chair out there. Oh right, okay. Oh, I've cool. already set up the shop. Right. Well, my arm's aching now, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> and it's not from holding the phone. Shall I um, wrap a plate in tin foil? Shall I wrap a plate in tin foil, Mark? Painting tin for it. was a reflector. Yeah. No, there's nothing to reflect it off. No, no. But even if there's a little bit of light, it will catch it. Then I can't get the shot close enough to it. I have to get a closer shot of it. It's not bad, the light. I just think. We tried to do these yesterday and the light was too flat. Yeah, maybe I should replace it. I know, it's such a shame that. Maybe painting. I should replace it with the rose. Yeah, get the rose. Shall I compare thee to a rose? He's going on. He's going all fussy now. So I'll come in here. I'm just about to annoy him. This is what happens. I come up with suggestions. If I ever suggest anything to do with the light or shot, he goes, bah, bananas. But I've been in front of a camera for 30 years, even though he may have been behind one. I have been in front of one too. So I know a few things about shots. See, I think a shot of you just pulling that towards you and smelling it, maybe. Might that be a bit... I think I'm in the garden enjoying nature with my cup of tea, my dog and my rose. We've got to make sure we don't inadvertently give them what they didn't want. <laughs> have to make sure we don't <laughs> inadvertently give them precisely what they asked not to have, which is Nadia's nun.
heard that because we left the phone up there. Mark has agreed to a shot that I have suggested. Pardon? Nothing. Is she okay? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind just sitting in the middle of the buttercups. Oh, what the shot, I thought. Yeah. Leave her there, not tell her where I've gone. Got the shot. <laughs> Look like I've right to it. Actually, this is going to become my new favourite place to sit. I feel like I'm out in a forest. Dude, I feel like I'm in a forest. You look like a garden gnome. A... What would be my garden gnome name? <laughs> Glenda. <laughs> You'd be Glenda or Brenda. Gwyneth. Gwyneth. Aroused me, did she? You, Mark. <laughs> Isn't that pretty there? It's lovely. I'll leave, keep the chair there. I'll leave it there for you. The yeah. chair spot in the I middle like of the bed. Spot. Well, it's our garden. We can do whatever we want. We can put a little. Should we show them our lupins again? See, so where are the little beans in here? No, so the seeds will be in each of those bumps once they turn to. God, they're so pretty. They're like strawberries and cream ice cream, aren't they? They are the colours. Look at that peony again. This is so beautiful, guys. Look at this. So beautiful. Burgeoning, about to pop. It's like a peony bomb. <laughs> Mark, stop it. I know, I meant it in a nice way. Well, it doesn't make when you So, photo shoot done. So, oh. rest of the day. <laughs> Got half to tip us off in the face with my camera. With our publishers. Very posh. Very posh. Then I've got. Loose women Zoom meetings. Very posh. Then homeschooling. Very posh. Then articles, magazine interviews. Very posh. Then a TV makeup lesson on Instagram. Very, very, on. very exhausting. Mm. <laughs> so the other night I did um, a live on. Um, emotional overeating and I came out afterwards and I said to her oh my god I wasn't very good at that I was a bit waffly and it was a bit I don't, I don't think I was very articulate at all and da, da, da. anyway I'm just reading through some of the messages well, I'm just going through all the messages and oh I just love you guys so much I just I just think Mark and I just don't realize um we're always knocking ourselves in the way that we, the way that we uh, maybe put ourselves across in these chats. But I can see that so many of you, with the things that we talk about, whether it's Mark's anxiety, depression, addiction, poor Mark, sorry to list all those things, or whatever, whatever problems that we are talking about, I think we forget that a lot of you guys don't have somebody to talk about this stuff, and. You know, I really, I really, I, we both do. We really feel for you with that. Just this, this comment has just taken, just really taken my breath away. Um, thank you, Nadia. You have no idea how much you're helping me. Oh, this is all very nice stuff that she says about me, which is all very nice. I don't want to read that out. Um, but then she says, this is from Mel W. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I'd said in this chat was to try and say, and she quotes, I do accept that myself, my body and me are worth nourishing with delicious food. And Mel says, you have no idea how hard that sentence hit a nerve. I had to pause the video because I was crying so hard. That's just so, isn't that just... I could no longer follow the video. And now while writing this, I'm off again. Thank you, thank you, really thank you enough. You are a treasure, but then other nice things. But. Oh my goodness. Oh, it, because this has just made me really think reading all these. I'm definitely going to do more of these chats because there is a lot said about all the other emotional, mental um, things that, you know, issues that people may have. But I just don't see a lot written about or spoken about regarding emotional eating. And I think that that's a phrase that we need to get out there emotional eating because Maddie in fact said to Mark and I the other day why does it seem like everyone is fucked up about food and so many of us I mean somebody back here that I was reading 
um, she was saying, um, some days I definitely try to eat to feel better. This is from Flossie81. Um, and if I'm too stressed, I can't eat at all. Also, the treat element. Every night at seven o'clock, I will treat myself to crisps and chocolate. I'm a normal weight and can usually get back on track, but it's always there, counting calories, jumping on the scales. And it's just like, why are we all consumed with guilt around food? She's normal weight. Sometimes she doesn't eat when she's sad or when she's stressed, that's fine. And she likes a treat of chocolate at crisps at seven o'clock. So? Are we just, so many of us are just so fucked up about it. I mean, when I, when, I, when I did talk about this the other night, you know, I am not coming from a position of a person that has got this sorted at all. I have to work on this every day in some way. I have to work on it. And I found my little ways to make my eating work. And sometimes I, I really do eat emotionally. Mine is often through stress, actually, or if I get into a self-loathing place, then I'll, then, I'll, then I'll do that eating. But I've got lots of tricks and techniques I use now to um to sort of well just sort of to sort of swerve me away from falling into a big hole of it but yeah it's a daily occurrence so reading all these messages as we've all as as always when Mark and I read your messages and we're quite often he's over there working we quite often just were like no oh listen to this one listen to that one and we're definitely trying to answer more. So don't ever think we don't read them if you don't get an answer, because we do. Look, going through them all. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna do more emotional eating chats. I kind of did a bit, I did my kind of story. Um, I've just read there that somebody went to an AA meeting, joined an AA meeting yesterday, and it really helped, just so lovely. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do more of these because I can see that there's just so many people um, that needed to hear something around this because nobody talks about it. People talk about how to lose weight, how to get a bikini body, how to lose a stone before summer, how to lose a stone for your Christmas parties. But people don't talk about the root of it. Look at that woman there. She's totally slim, doesn't have a problem with weight, but still feels guilty if she eats. Just about to do the live and I'm preparing myself both emotionally, emotionally, and physically. Look at Gigi. She loves a new basket for photo shoot. Aww. She I think we should do her an outside bed. Do you Aww. like that? I like that there. Do you like it? Mm. Oh. oh, look. I know, I want that rose there. I love that there, that little setup. The watering can, the um, deck chair. Right, I've got two minutes before the live. Let's go. Crazy busy day. Just did one um, of my loose women meetings and then just done another um, stint on the trampoline. Made Mark a smoothie because when he comes in, he'll be mangry. Got chicken in the ninja for the kids. Um, so I've got another hour's meeting, then a quick lunch, then another hour and a half of meetings. It's a good job nobody can really see me. Look at the state of me. What's happened? Just like I'm on the Zoom chat, my new Zoom chat. I've just taken a slug of that, thinking I was only, and that's done there, and then on the meat, that was like. Did you tell them? The whole world. That's so disgusting. Why's your toenail in there? I put them, I cut them off yesterday and put them all in. But it was, I didn't think she was going to go in and drink from an empty can. Oh, Dad, that's <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know. So, subs, do you think I was in the wrong there? I put my toenails into an empty can, not thinking anyone... <laughs> toenail clippings. <laughs> not thinking better that they're putting something that I then put in the bin, but she's yeah. sipped. <laughs> oh, yeah, my rotten toenail does come off every now and then. That is pretty damn hideous. That's probably one of the... <laughs> Can you hear them? Oh yeah, those, those have just arrived for you. Anyone else baking hot? Oh, I had to say tomatoes. Oh, tomato. Oh shit, yeah, tomatoes. Haven't got time now, but... Well, I've got to repot them. I've got to take them out and I've got to pot them. 
Anyway, I won't show you what I was about to show you because it's part of Green Figured Hell, but Nadji's now making every grating noise possible as soon as I started filming. How has your evening been, Nad? So far, so good. I just did a live um, how to do a TV makeup with my friend Donna, yeah. head of makeup. At least I didn't do my hair, obviously. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, your eyes are dark. So I've uploaded it on IGTV if you want to. Yeah, we did a smoky eye. Smoky eye. I like a smoky eye. Okay. I, quite, I prefer just one smoky eye. I prefer my women with one eye. And wraps. Um, oh, wow, that's a result. With long cucumbery bits. Don't forget, guys, I don't do cucumber. Guys, this cucumber, there's no comparison. It. The best cucumber. So we are behind ourselves as normal people, so we're going to watch that now. And every now and then, Nadia says, we really must no, film. Say in that way. Nadia keeps saying, we really must film the ABBA thing. And I keep thinking, no, we really must not. No, we really must. No, we really I must not. Just get up tomorrow and just do it. You are joking me. Right?